his questions about our, our love of books, Mr. Jefferson and I, and what was done with it. it as you may know, Mr. Jefferson um, was not, I do not mean to embarrass him, but being that we're both dead, I suppose it doesn't matter. Um, Mr. Jefferson had to sell his library at one point, which Congress bought, which was the, 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 the seed, which is now your Library of Congress. He took the money and he could have released the slaves of the diamond, paid off all of his debts. Instead, he ordered new crates of wine from France and new books. He could not live without them, you see. And when he died, his books were again purchased out. As indeed, Monticello was, uh, was fully into hawk, I think you would call it, and uh, was purchased actually by a Hebrew uh, to preserve it to, in thanks for helping his helping establish a country where uh, freedom of religion could be so, so welcoming to one, uh, especially the Hebrew faith, which is famed for its persecution. Now, most of my books I was able, I, I bequeathed to others. As a matter of fact, I was asked once uh, by the town of Franklin that was established that I provide money for a bell for their town, and I sent them a collection of books. I said, um, sense being preferable to sound, and they still, I believe, have that collection of books there. Um, and uh, so I mostly, like I said, established the library to be given away. Uh, we should talk briefly about the library system, by the way, which several of my books resided in as well. Um, libraries were known, of course, in Oxford Library. Every university has a major library there. But they were all privately held. And booksellers sold books to collectors, to people who would put them into the library. And many of my friends in the Junto, the small group of people, uh, who I believe uh, helped come up with a great many things because small groups of people really do have great power. We brought together many of our books for each other's edification. Then we may lend them out to each other and decided that if we had a subscription where people could buy into the library, we could use that money to buy even more books and establish a lending library of sorts, which I understand is still going on now, where you do not necessarily have a subscription, you do run it by your taxes. But even so, a marvelous idea, where the greater public mind is enriched. And this is one of the tenets of the Enlightenment, that the human mind is capable of almost unlimited growth and knowledge and possession of wisdom. And that to fulfill the promise of humanity, you must have an informed populace. Not just the select few, but all and that many answers to any world's problems are to be found in the proper education of the average citizen.